Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know, or just won't say. You're doing I wish there was... really. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper. Making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Just be careful, please. The same goes for you. I will. What do you want, Sheriff?
I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. I don't deny it, but I'm good at picking up on this stuff. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Damn. stools in this place. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... You're out of paper towels and the... Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. 
Now here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Griff. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walked past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So... You were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I... I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do, and I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me.
enough. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. Bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. Not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. 
What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punch someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end.